Hello, my name is Justin, and I work in a review factory. I don't have a wife or a job or a family except doing this. One day, they asked me, are you busy? I said no, so they sent me a whole bunch of junk in the mail. Hello, my name is Joe. Oh, okay. Anyway, so, um, today we're going to be reviewing... Mouse traps by Cat Sense, and uh, these are supposed to be. I think there's like five or six cat, or sorry, cat traps, <laughs> mouse traps in here. Oh no, you better not have cat traps on the internet. Everybody loves cats. Uh, these are the mouse traps. You're stealing food from cats, and uh, here they come. Sweetness. I really got to get to that cardboard pile and get rid of it. It's getting tall. Okay, so we are going to take a picture of these mouse traps here, and here we go. All right, and we'll flip it over, and it says, "Warning! Oh no!" Avoid the danger of suffocation. Keep this tiny bag away from babies and children. Do not use this bag in cribs, beds, carriages, or playpens. This bag is not a toy. All right. Well, I'm going to try. I have a very big head, but I am going to attempt to try not to suffocate from this bag. All right. It's no laughing matter. All right. So here we go. Perfect. Okay, now let's bust this bag open and try not to get attacked by the bag. We got one. We got two. We got three. We got four mouse traps putting cats out of business. Yikes, these are scary things. All right. We got our instructables here. And the plastic bag! No! It's going to suffocate me. All right. Uh, well, maybe I should save the bag to put them back in. All right. Now, these look a lot more heavy duty than ones that I have bought in the past. Um, let's try this. What will survive? The mousetrap. Okay. So, let's get some pictures of the mousetrap. Made by Cat Sense, K A T Sense. Okay, so step one, we gotta read the directions, of course. They have to, because they're nobody knows how to use a cat a mouse trap. Nobody knows. So, step one, flip over. Oh, it's dirty. The instructions are dirty. That's what you gotta worry about with that plastic, is the where it came from. Okay, flip over. Bait cup. Is in the bottom. Oh, okay. So you have there's assembly required. See, there's the bait cup. Step two, you press down and set the bar. And step three, you're ready to catch. Well, yeah, but you got to put the bait cup in the thing. So, okay, now I'm confused. Oh, okay, I get it now. I get it now. So, don't put your finger in the trap. Okay. So you put the bait in the bait cup. You screw it back in. And then what that does is when this is set, the bait is in the middle of the trap. So this is a lot more ingenious trap than traditional ones because traditionally the bait goes right on the little flipper. And that usually doesn't always work. But this one is designed with a little dish down inside. And so you put the little bait here down inside the, the trap here in the middle. And then when the mouse steps on the edge, like a toilet seat kind of, to get into the, because he has to push this down to get into that little bait thing. And when he does that, he's done for. It's going to get him. So it would the mouse would have to have an extremely long, narrow nose to avoid this thing. Um, anything that gets on this is, is probably going to be done for. Now, how strong is it? Strong enough to hold a mouse and keep it from dying, I mean, keep it from moving. Now, the problem is, with these traps, I'm just going to give you a little disclaimer here. The mouse can run around with one of these on its head, okay? 
and it may not kill it because well there isn't a lot of pressure here there is when it slams down it could hurt your finger don't put your fingers in it like I'm doing um, but uh, yeah so what you're gonna need to do with this trap is you're gonna need to find a place on it where you can tie the trap to something without um, like maybe this handle there's a little hole in the top of the handle here you can put a little black string through that that's strong enough and then tie it to something so that when the mouse gets caught it doesn't run away with the trap on it because that ouch that can happen so anyway there you go and that's why you don't put your finger in the trap all right now let's get some pictures 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 so I'm gonna set this one hopefully I can take these pictures without being destroyed okay so here we go we're gonna turn this around we're gonna get up here and we're gonna take a picture of it all right just like that take a picture of this one now for your for your baits some people use peanut butter some people use cheese there's lots of different baits you can use I don't know if the Animal Rights Commission is ever going to outlaw these things or if they're going to tell us that we can't use them anymore. Hopefully they don't um, because they're nuts. But anyway, um, we'll see. Uh, so anyways, we got the... Okay, so next is going to be a back posture corrector. We got a tire pressure gauge, silicone... Uh, silicone baking pan, Viper Patriot Ram, blah, blah, blah. So... All those things come up next, hopefully. Uh, I'm supposed to be getting a three-layer blue car cover. That is not showing up. Uh, digital indoor HDTV antenna. I have it, but I so far I can't get it to work because of where I'm at. So I'm trying to get... I need a I need a uh, HDTV converter to try it in a different place. So anyway, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And may Jesus bless you. Welcome to another episode of Justin's Epic Amazing Reviews. Now, check this out. I've got over 14 packages that I'm supposed to be reviewing. I don't know how I'm going to get them all done today. But look at this. It just The packages, they just keep coming and coming and coming. And I want them to keep coming. So please keep sending your packages. The address is in the description of this video.